Not long ago, I showed how to burn a DVD video disc for free. I later showed how to burn one using Roxio Toast. I'll link those videos in the description so you can check them out. A few folks have asked me what happens when you burn a 4K or other high quality video file to a disc using the DVD video format. Does the quality drop at all? Stick around and I'll show you what happens to the quality when you burn a DVD video disc. I'll also show you how to use your Mac to check the resolution of videos on your DVDs. For those of you following along at home, I'm using macOS Sonoma 14.3.1 and I'm on an Intel-based 16-inch MacBook Pro from 2019. If you're using an M-series Mac, or maybe an older Mac or older OS, you should find the majority of what I talk about is similar to what you can do on those devices. Before we jump in, let's take a moment and talk about the kinds of DVD discs and their capacities. There are many kinds of discs, however, I'm going to talk about just a few of them. The first is a standard single-layer DVD. It can hold up to 4.7 gigabytes of data. The second is a dual layer DVD, which has a capacity of 8.7 gigabytes. Last, I'll mention Blu-ray discs. Single layer Blu-rays can hold up to 25 gigs, and the dual layer varieties can hold up to 50 gigabytes of data. For the purposes of this video, we'll focus on standard single layer discs. Why? Because those are the most common and the most compatible for playback on standalone DVD players around the world. Now that we have all the background out of the way, let's get started. As you can see here, I have a movie file on my desktop. This is one of the recent YouTube videos I created. It's all about how to use your iPhone or iPad to create a slideshow. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you're following along, right click or control click your video file and choose Get Info. As you can see here, this is an MPEG-4 or MP4 file using the H.264 codec, which is common for movie files. Codec stands for compression decompression. H.264 is one standard. There are others like H.265 or HEVC, which stands for high efficiency video codec. That's about as technical as we're gonna get today. You can see here that the size of the file is 3.27 gigabytes, which means it should fit on a standard single layer DVD disc. You can also see that the resolution of this video is 3840 by 2160 pixels. In other words, this is a 4K video. We can also see that the video is eight minutes and 41 seconds long. Let's put it on a DVD. If I were using the free burn app, it would offer to convert the video for me. However, today I'm gonna to use Toast Titanium because it provides a great visual that makes it easy for me to show that it will convert the video into a format that'll be compatible with a DVD video disc. Notice that although the video is 3.27 gigabytes in size, Toast tells us that the video will only take up about 500 megabytes of space, which is around one seventh of its original size. Let's go ahead and burn the disc. Now that we've burned the disc, when we insert it into our Mac, it starts playing automatically in the DVD player app. We can quit that and then open Finder to take a look at the contents of the disc. Open the video TS folder and you'll see a couple of VOB files. VOB stands for video object. And while you can play these files back in QuickTime, I'm gonna recommend you check out the VLC player, which is an open source player that you can get for free over at videoland.org, link in the description. It's available for all the major OSs out there, including Windows and Mac OS, and it can play a huge variety of video formats. I have the finder set to show my files as a list. Click view as list if you want. You'll see that this smaller VOB file is part of my interactive DVD menu, and the larger one is the full video. In VLC, you can click Windows Media Information to see info about the file that's playing. Click the Codec Details tab, and here you'll see the video resolution is 720 by 480. That's 480p, or standard definition. The quality of the video has been reduced from 4K down to 480p. Here's the full quality video at full size, and here's the reduced quality video at full size. When you burn a disc to a DVD video format, you're trading away video quality for compatibility. This disc format will play back on the largest variety of standalone DVD players in the world. There are other disc formats out there that support higher quality, but they won't play back on as many players. Drop your questions in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.